Oh yeah! Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. In a car park, no, oh, sorry, car park. <laughs> I'm in a playground, so it's quiet now because um, kids are in school. Um, so, but from three o'clock, three thirty, you know, if the weather is good, people come around here and uh, play with their kids and just relax, as I'm doing here. Okay, let me know. Let me just go straight to the point. Um, there are. You know, recently we just saw a video or a document um, by a Nigerian who gave us um, an inside view on the um, the last meeting at the UN, um, which um, the president of Nigeria, Tinubu, and his um, crew went. Here are the figures. Almost. $500,000 for less than a week's meeting. $500,000. I see if that was not enough. A couple of days ago, we saw in the news that um, all the House of Representatives will be, um, will be getting a, a, a Jeep, a 4x4, you know, 4x4. Uh, costing almost 130 million each 130 million naira each the UN meeting by the way is half a million dollars let that word sink in let that man sink in half a million dollars and House of Representatives um, collecting um, a vehicle worth 130 million and that's about 300 plus. Um, 300 plus. Now look at these figures. And at the same time, the Nigerian government is trying to borrow, um, wants to make another um, um, loan request, which they will get, of almost $2 billion. Two billion dollars, half a million on UN um, um, UN meeting, and they're going to spend um, 130 million naira each for one vehicle for the House of Representatives. Now remember, um, before the Senate went on recess, uh, went on um, holiday, yeah, they decided to send some prayers to their emails. We know the prayers means money, and their emails was um, their bank accounts. Uh, according to figures, they said it was two two million naira. Uh, so I'm bringing all this and um, coupled with the fact that at the moment, many Nigerians are suffering. Some are struggling to eat. Some are struggling to live. But in the same vein, we have the government, you know, splashing money like Father Christmas. Well, for themselves and their families. It shows how childish, you know, the, the whole situation is. That's why I'm doing this video in this um, child playing arena. To show you that sometimes, the policies the nigerian uh, the nigerian you know policies or politics sometimes is childish because if it is matured the, these these guys dispensing this money or sweets like sweets dispensing money as sweets 
you know, should at least have a reality check that you are in government is not to oppress your people. Being in government is not to oppress the people, but to set policies that are better their lives. But it appears the Nigerian, the Nigerian um, style of government or politics, you know, is just to embezzle. Just to embezzle. So sad. But I just want to point this out that, you know, Nigeria is, we are playing games. It now appears that it is now the pol politics of the, you know, um, enabling corruption. Put it that way. Anyway, I just came to highlight this, that it is so shameful that in the midst of suffering, the politicians are doing well for themselves. Anyway. What do you think about this um, comment? Um, the, um, um, what's your... What's your? Anyway, that's it for now. Um, please uh, make a comment, like, share, and please subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing you more. Okay? Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the war in Israel. Stay tuned and God bless. Adios.